Hi, I'm Ronald from Easy Properties brand team. And I'm here today to chat with Jamie around Hyde Park House. You know, so we took a bit of a tour around and this property is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. So Jamie, I wanted to ask you, um, what can you tell us a bit about Hyde Park House? So Hyde Park House was conceptualized uh, probably about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, the design was uh, conceptualized by a brilliant architect called Enrico De Fonchio from mm -hmm. De Fonchio Architects. I'm a huge fan of his. We've, we've done a couple of projects before. Mm -hmm. And the nature of the project is, you know, it's, it's very, it's bringing a lot of different textures together. Mm -hmm. It's like the raw brick, the mm -hmm. steel, the timber deck, the, you can see the walls are textured, have got a textured paint. And it, it's supposed to be a very kind of tactile environment. Mm -hmm. um, the design also very much a kind of New York style industrial chic type of design. Mm -hmm. uh, something I'm a massive fan of, as you might see from some of our other projects. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, that's mm. Hyde Park House. Nice. Uh, and I mean, I've, uh, I've noticed that you guys chose Hyde Park as the area to to develop in, you know, and I noticed it's actually quite a, a very affluent and prestigious area. Why did you guys choose to develop in this particular area? Sure. So I think, as you mentioned, it is a very prestigious and, mm. uh, and affluent area. I think geographically, what's quite cool about Hyde Park is that it's very much a residential area mm. sandwiched in between two of, of Joburg's sort of big business districts mm. being Santon on the one side and Rosebank on the mm. other side. Um, as well as the fact that you've got this corridor, which, you know, if you walk mm -hmm. for five minutes, you'll hit all these new commercial buildings like oh, uh, yes. BP and um, Short Markets uh, Club, the yes, new, yes, new yes, restaurant yes. bar. It used to be Greenhouse. Yes. I think uh, I probably saw you there once or twice. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, geographically, you know, down the road, you've got mm. some great restaurants in Elovo. You've mm. got... Bellinis and Fishmonger and Perea, mm. uh, that's all sort of within a few hundred meters walking mm. distance and easily accessible to everywhere. The yeah. highways down the road, yeah. offices all around. I mean, each and every like, direction, you just pretty much like touch a business hub, you know? Ex exactly. Mm. What led to this specific offering? You know, like what were the property insights that you guys looked into to actually deciding that you guys are going to build Hyde Park House? Sure. So. I think that um, Hyde Park, as you mentioned before, it's a very affluent area, very mm. highly desirable area, historically out of reach for a lot of uh, the younger generation. That's true, yeah. Um, and so what we did, a, a, as well as the fact that the younger generation care a lot more about design mm -hmm. and pushing boundaries and a bit of edginess. Mm -hmm. So what we've done here is we've catered to a whole bunch of different offerings. So we've yeah. got some small one beds and studio units for like very entry level people who yeah. just want to get onto the property ladder mm. or tenants who just want to be, have something simple, lock up and go yeah. with great amenities. Uh, there's a brilliant cafe here run by Bird, mm. um, best coffee in Joburg. Ooh, nice. <laughs> um, and um, so it, it gives that sort of, you know, it was designed and conceptualized mm. before COVID. Um, but it brings that sort of work from home element here. Mm. It's free Wi-Fi in the cafe, amazing yeah. coffee, as I said, workspaces. Yeah, um, I saw some hot desks here too. Exactly. Mm. Um, you got the gym here, so people mm. kind of don't really need to leave. Yeah. Um, and the idea, as I said, at a, a sort of more affordable price point mm. to what the classic Hyde Park real estate would go for. Mm. From a development point of view, you know, what sort of challenges did you guys uh, face in developing Hyde Park House? And what are the successes that you want to share with us? Sure. So, you know, developing in Joburg is always, it's, there's no shortage of challenges. <laughs> um, you know, there's, and, and considering here, we've actually got seven direct neighbors surrounding mm -hmm. us. And so, and, you know, very understandably, everybody is, uh, gets a bit concerned when you want to develop something mm -hmm. next door to them. Um, it's made a lot more complicated. You know, normally you have one or two neighbors. Yeah, mm. we've got seven. And so, you know, dealing with everyone's 
questions and concerns yeah. and uh, it was challenging but everybody was uh, was pretty reasonable and and we ended up getting to to the so you guys didn't results. have any difficulties getting those papers signed to develop eh? uh, i wouldn't say we didn't have any difficulties <laughs> yeah. but uh, you know it, it's kind of part and parcel and i mm. think you know what's conceptually very important mm. for us is that when we do a new development, we're entering a new neighborhood mm. and we, you know, we remain involved in our developments mm. after the fact. We keep some units. Also, we've got, we've got regular buyers who come back. So when we do a development, we become a part of that neighborhood. And mm. so it's very important for us to, to integrate with the, with the area, to add value, to, to be conscious of the 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 fact that we're changing the landscape and to be sensitive mm. to those around us um, and so i think that you know ultimately when you can pull that off successfully that's mm. always a big win as they say love thy neighbor hey exactly <laughs> and hopefully thy neighbor loves you back yeah <laughs> <laughs> um and then i wanted to find out a bit about um short-term rentals right so I've seen a trend where uh, short-term rentals have actually outperformed long-term rentals. Has you, have you seen the same experience with Hyde Park House? Absolutely. So mm -hmm. I think um, short-term rentals have outperformed uh, long-term rentals. Mm -hmm. I think um, even while hotels are still running at lower mm -hmm. occupancies and lower rates, the Airbnb type of model is a, mm -hmm. is a lower cost offering. Mm -hmm. So you can afford to compete with the rates with uh, with mm. hotels still having a bigger unit and, and sort of similar uh, offering. Mm. I think what's critical when it comes to short term lets is having a professional outfit run it. Mm. Um, you know, the barriers to entry of becoming of running short term lets are zero. You can just mm. sort of put a, a listing up on Airbnb. Mm. But you know, where it becomes difficult and again being conscious of neighbors is that, you know, if someone moves in on a Friday and invites 20 people around for a party mm -hmm. and two in the morning it's going off and that person's at home sleeping in bed, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. going to ruin, it, ruin everybody's experience. Yeah. So we use a company called Proper mm -hmm. and they are proper Pro operators <laughs> and they've got 24 hour assistance. They oh, monitor nice. it properly. Yeah. Um, and, and that makes all the difference. They yeah. optimize on Airbnb. They've got full-time guest experience and mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. So, I think that is one of the keys to getting it right. Mm. Is there anything else that you'd like to touch on that, that you think we might have missed? Well, I think Hyde Park House is a development that we as a, a company are very proud of. Mm. Um, it integrates sort of a lot of different offerings into one uh, estate. Mm -hmm. So from sort of small studio units up to three and four bedroom houses. Mm. Um, still, even the homes, even though they are, you know, relatively you know, there are a lot of money, relatively speaking. Mm -hmm. It's still aimed at a younger generation and a younger demographic, mm -hmm. sort of young families, mm -hmm. you know, early to mid thirties. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, a, it's, it's bringing together people of a similar age and demographic mm -hmm. um, into one space. And, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's been successful in that regard. And mm -hmm. we, we're very proud of that. And Yeah, that is amazing. Cool. Thank you so much, Jamie. Cool, uh, Ronald. Anytime, brother. Yeah, you too. Thank you.